I'm so so the show came out the first week of January. Everybody is celebrating. Were you prepared for this, Ladarius? I don't think I was this like prepared for this much like recognition for cheer. Everywhere you go, people are just celebrity. That's Simone Biles, the number one gymnast in the world, <laughs> wants to join the squad. Gabby, how does that feel? It's honestly, it's crazy because none of us expected this, and for. Simone Biles, like the best of the best gymnast to be tweeting at us is like, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay, like so, what? So again, I didn't know what to expect in the show. I was like, okay, it's called Cheer. What is this about? And then it gets into how really cheerleading saved your lives in so many ways. Ladarius, I remember seeing a video. It's been viewed over 12 million times on social media. Gabby Union, my friend, uh, Gabrielle Union tweeted it out. Here's here's when I first saw you. Let's play it. Let's go, guys. about you were a football player. You were being geared toward sports yeah. of a different kind. Because cheering is a sport. But you were being tracked for something different. Yes. And this helped you break free yes, in so many did. ways. How did it change your life? Um, it made me feel like I was my own person. I was, I was always different from my brothers. We did track and we did football. Track and we did football. And it was just the Marshall brother way. So I wanted to be different. I was already different growing up. So it was just like, I wanted something where I can excel at it myself and be just completely on my own and independent. Did you know the show would require you to talk so much about how hard it was for you to tell your family and, and carve your own route in life? Um, I tried to avoid it. Really? Why? Yes, because it's like, you don't really, you don't like, in the black community, you don't really talk about like your problems that are like that deep. But it's like whatever stays, what happens in your family, you stay in your family. Like you know, you keep it on hush, and you just keep it moving because everybody downplays what you go through just to save the image of what your family is. And I just didn't. I didn't feel like I was comfortable enough to talk about it at first until I had talked to our coach Monica about it, and I was just like, she's like, I feel like you really should like go on there. Tell and your like, story. Yeah. And that's the thing, Jerry. Also with you, and you, you were very open about struggling with your weight. But that, when I, I was already hooked at that part, and then I learned, as you revealed, you lost your mother, and another family, a part of the cheer community, helped you on your journey. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was in tears, beyond tears as a new mom, thinking how she must be smiling on you. What was it like to tell your story? Um, well, I w it wasn't something that I wanted to open up to anybody, and I tried to always growing up just keep things to myself, but I saw this as an opportunity to help the next person out. Now, we have so. a clip of you talking about it. Let's play it. Losing his mom, it nearly crushed him. So I think he brings joy into his life by building a circle, building a family around him, bringing in as many people as he can, not to take her place, but to, to fill, fill up a spot, to build his family. Um, and he has quite a family. I think there's always kind of this happy smile, but there's a little something behind it. The sadness, you know. That's why this show is so special. Because, you, again, you hear cheer, but it's the backstory of why you're so joyful now. This is your family. Yes, it is. Six seasons later, do you feel like the same Jerry who started out on this? I feel like a stronger Jerry. Yeah. I feel like I can now tell my story and it help other people out. And that's the best thing I could ever ask for. And Gabby, so in the documentary, point out, absolutely. <laughs> I know.